sure the microphone is on. Welcome, everyone, for our annual spring concert. A little bit different of a setting than what we've had in the past. For any of you that have been to our spring concerts in the past, we're normally inside a multi-purpose room. But unfortunately, as all of you know, we've been displaced from our multi-purpose room since December, hoping to be back in it within the next couple of weeks. Um, the exciting thing is that our advanced band will be able to perform, especially for our eighth graders, for graduation this year. So we're excited to hear um, to be able to have that. Um, but I appreciate the flexibility of our students and Mrs. Lindstrand as we have been practicing back here on the stage. And unfortunately, we're in this, or the kids are in the sun, you guys are in the shade, but I know that um, today we talked to the kids about sunscreen and sunglasses and to be able to keep them comfortable. And this is our intermediate band that we're beginning with. Both our intermediate band and our advanced band have been working very hard this year, as some of you probably have seen, our marching band, the different parades, and they've performed very well. Um, we are live streaming tonight, and so if any family members aren't able to attend, they are um, able to log in and watch the live stream um, of the concert tonight. We do ask that you stay for the, re for the duration of the program, and please don't leave after intermediate band plays because advanced band has an outstanding show to share with you as well. Um, and we please ask that you silence your cell phones. Um, so without further ado, I would like to introduce our 2024 intermediate band. Thank you for being here tonight. I'm Mrs. Lindstrand. This is the intermediate band. They sound so good. I need you to know, for some of you that have not done band or maybe are not familiar, intermediate band does not usually sound like this. Like being uh, almost two years into playing, they just sound amazing. I'm really, really proud of them. Last year we attempted really short pieces and they did very well. This year we're playing two full songs for you. It's a really big deal, so I'm just very proud of them. You guys did really well on that song. That's good. Uh, no giggles, okay. Our next piece will require a special guest artist, one of our fine fifth grade teachers here at Sundown, and our athletic director, Mr. Woolsey. In a fitting coincidence, baseball and softball tryouts started today, and tonight the intermediate man and Mr. Woolsey are going to transport you all to a live baseball game. The second song is called Batter Up.
afternoon, baseball fans. We're broadcasting live from the old ballpark where your hometown Mustangs are being beaten like a drum by the visiting Mallets. The Batterheads are down to their last out, trading three to nothing. This is the Mallets pitcher's Bobby Beethoven's ninth inning of work. Stepping up to the plate for the Mustangs is the right fielder, Rusty Reed. Here's the windup. <laughs> The catcher, Buzz and Bach, the mouthpiece for the Mustangs. Here's the windup. <laughs> on first and second with Sweet Tone Hornman of Elkhart, Indiana coming to the plate. And here's the windup. <laughs> Shot up the middle for the natural lefty. The bases are loaded for the cleanup hitter, Babe Ruthless. And the Mustang fans are thrilling with excitement. Here's the windup. <laughs> oh. Beethoven's first pitch was a classic. Strike one. <laughs> Beethoven's second, and it's strike two. Beethoven's third will be heroic if it's a strike. Swing, and it's a high fly. And that's a winner. This one belongs to the Sundale Mustangs.
Do you guys know it? Cake by the Ocean. Good job, guys. You guys played it well. They knew what you were playing. Good job. This next one is Dark Ride. This is, for us, the uh, most complicated piece that we are attempting. It would be nice to have, what, like, maybe 12 weeks more to try to tackle this one. But they really, really, really wanted to play this for you guys. So we left it in the program. They're going to do amazing. This is one of our... Um, biggest mountains to climb this concert season, so I hope you enjoy it. This is Dark Ride.
Here we go. Spider-Man. This next one is Spider-Man. This arrangement you're about to hear was written for high school marching band. Really cool one. I wasn't sure how this one would go, and they just are absolutely amazing. Amazing. No pressure, guys. <laughs>
push the valve down when you push it in, it'll make it stay. We have one more song for you tonight. Um, do make sure that you take advantage of the photo booth back here. You guys especially. It's a photo booth. You go over there with your besties. You press start. You pose real cute. Boom. You print that picture. Yeah. Okay. And then also over here is a table for donations. We do get the, like our funding here is amazing. I just want to buy a few more instruments. Um, so. Instruments are really expensive for those of you that have never bought one. Uh, a new saxophone is about $2,400, so it's not a small purchase. Um, 
So if your wallets are super heavy or you just like have extra money, you're like, I don't know what to do with this. It's just like so much in my pocket. There's a little uh, bin right there. We would love to buy some more instruments. Okay? Um, so I'm going to read my thank yous and I'm not going to get teary. I'm going to do it. Before our last song, I want to say thank yous to my students. You are exceptional. I ask for a lot every single rehearsal that we have. We do not spend a lot of time taking it easy. We don't take breaks or days off. We work. Would you agree? Yes. Uh, sure. Yes. There's no other group, there's no other band I'd rather spend my days with. You're hardworking, thoughtful, wonderful musicians. And thank you for laughing at my bad jokes. Thank you. Now, Eighth graders, I know we'll be here for several more weeks, but I just want to say that I hope that you stay musical, however that looks for you. Going on to high school, support the arts, be about it, be in the concerts, or go to the concerts, cheer on the music, your friends for the rest of your life, okay? I mean, be in band, but no matter what, just support music. Keep being that person that loves band, okay? Uh, parents, first off, if you have not met me in person, I'm that lady that sends you a million messages. Um, getting to this point in the instrumental program at Sundell means your student has invested at least two years in the band. At least two years. That means two years of making sure your kid has their instrument on the right day, that they have their music, that they practice, hopefully. As a parent, I do know the cost that it is for the investment of time, money, or mind to have your kid involved in any activity. Some of us have kids involved in several activities. That takes space, it takes time, it takes money. So thank you for choosing band. Music is good for the mind, good for the soul, good for these kids here. Um, and music of the future doesn't exist without the support of parents from today. There's no music in the future without parents like you today saying, yes, my kid can do band. Thank you. Just, a, just one more tiny, teeny tiny paragraph. I write really short messages, you know that. Cindy Gist, Joy Farkas, Terry Rufer, Sundell board members, and Sundell teachers. Thank you for the level of support you've shown to this program over many years, long before I came back to Sunday to be a teacher. I was a student here, but I came back and the support has been here the entire time. Um, what the performing arts students have here at Sundell and what I have a director isn't matched anywhere. Sundell isn't like anywhere else. My students are blessed and I am blessed with the school family and the support that we have here. Thank you sincerely and truly, thank you. Thank you.